always got to rewind, right? Mm. Let's rewind to my day yesterday. <laughs> accessories how can you not but believe it or not it is people who don't wear accessories at all i don't know how they do that but and then i'm not knocking about it they do but i got some accessories that i haven't showed in a while and since i am shopping my closet because you know i'm handling no bag <sighs> i went to starbucks i had me some uh, chai tea latte and the uh, meatless sausage egg and cheese biscuit um, I think they call it beyond meat no some no meat I don't know it, you know what I'm talking about I had that so I sat outside because it was a nice day and enjoyed myself and I walked home. So Starbucks is close enough that I can walk like it's like in my neighborhood. So I walked to it. And then I came back and you saw that I got on the treadmill. And I wanted to show you just a little clip because what I do is I go from the treadmill to the bike to the treadmill. So what I, I, I it's the different speeds and it's a nice little, you know, get you a little fat burning going on so i'm trying to lose the weight y'all know i've been trying um and so then i went to the movies so let's talk about the movies okay so the movie i went to see then was a knock at the cabin yeah a knock at the cabin this movie is very interesting um the guy batista i think that's his name he played he was so good in this movie this movie is all about choices and the choices you may have to make it was really good um so i went to see that and then I went to dinner. I told you the name of the restaurant. I had some good food. The drinks. The drink that I showed you. You know, I like to ask the bartender what you recommend. What do what drink do you like? The reason why I do that is because 
they know different drinks and ones that sell the most and you know something for you to try now i ain't trying to be uh knocked out drunk but i want to try something different and she recommended that drink and it was so delicious so i think i put some of the information up on the screen um and that's what i did so now you also saw that i went to my little linen closet if you follow me you know what i'm talking about if you don't hello welcome um i don't have no big closet okay i have a linen closet that i wasn't using so i was like why don't i just use these shelves so i put my perfumes my bags that not all my bags just my more expensive bags and i put um my shades which you saw it this little um this case came from amazon and i'll you know i'm always going to show you the picture here here wherever i show you the picture at but you know how you get a lot of shades so I'm gonna show you shades and my accessories. So you know how you get a lot of shades and the next thing you know, you got like a whole thing of shades. Cause you, you know, you want to, uh, you could be like on vacation and see some shades, the cute little shades. You might be on the higher end where you buy a whole lot of expensive shades. One thing I'm never gonna do is, I don't think I've ever bought shades full price like as soon as it came out mm -mm. i get it if it's very expensive i get it at the second hand um you know on a uh, vestiaire where i get all my second hand uh luxury goods or if you know like on Saks or fifth they may have uh, some shades that maybe two years ago was the thing and then now they have it at a different price and i'm going to show you my newest shades first because i have to make room for my shades i got too many so some of these i'm just going to get rid of um you know they're going to be the cheap ones not nothing expensive but let me show you my newest shades first so i got three new shades look at these guys these are my loewe dupes that i am gonna rock this summer ain't nobody telling me nothing I, I look cute and i put on a black shirt so that when i put all the accessories on to let you see it like you know you can't go wrong with black so these yellow ones and i'm quite sure this is not giving it no justice and i got the blue ones they both come together yes baby i put a picture right here from my instagram of me wearing these can you imagine cruising going on vacation because i'm about to go on vacation with my sister and them we're going to jamaica for a sister trip and i'm gonna rock these shades so those are new and i got these these from amazon too look at these guys baby baby don't talk to me don't talk to me i'm too cute don't talk to me when you don't want nobody looking at you you don't want to you maybe you do your brows and stuff you just want to this cat eye look is everything yes and i like the little case it came in these came in this case right here and it got a little hook i guess if you want to put it on your bag or something i haven't showed these but i probably have these Burberry dupes from amazon got the b right there i i wore this on my last cruise honey baby you probably saw this if you watch my cruise video you saw these on every time best under $20. I'm getting rid of these. I 
don't know. I don't know, guys. For some reason, this giving me like when I want to put on some shades and let that sun hit it. A newer this pair that I haven't even wore yet with this baby blue, which is the, to me, blue is the color of spring now. What y'all think? I love them. Yeah, these gotta go. So they going. I'm gonna give them the good way. I'm not gonna throw them in the trash or nothing. What y'all think? All of my little oh. cheap round ones that I didn't get from like when I was cruising. I go get these little cheap ones you see on the, you know, on the streets. Look what happened, guys. So these are my vintage Dior shades that I will not get rid of. But the Dior, see you see Dior there? It came off here and I can't find it. These gotta go. Even though those are cute. I think I'm gonna get rid of these too. Even though I like the brown right there. I wanna get rid of my coach ones. But I really don't like them. Like I thought I would. I mean they are right or whatever. Another movie that I am going to see is... No, I went to see it already. Uh, um, if you're a Marvel fan, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum... Something other. Quantum Mania. So good. So good. This is, to me, the best Ant-Man. So I'm cleaning my shades off. Because, you know, we have a tendency to not clean our shades because they be sitting there. So I'm glad you're here talking to me. And I can... How are you talking to me, though? Say that because Ant-Man movies are funny to me. Like, they the funny ones. They the, the family fun ones. You know, not as serious as ex, um, uh, Ma, the Avengers ones. Oh, no, I can't get rid of these. These my uh Gucci dupes that I got from Amazon. Yes, honey. What you say? Oh, I thought you said something. Oh, I did like these. Because of the black and white right there, I wonder if I want to keep these. I like the, the Octacon look of these. Never getting rid of these. When I'm on vacation... Do you know how many compliments I get for these $3 glasses? So many. Got to keep these. These are my um, Dolce & Gabbana. This is definitely Caribbean. Laying out on the beach somewhere under the umbrella because I don't need no sun. And baby, mm, definitely got to keep those. What y'all think about these purple ones? I don't know. Purple my favorite color. I gotta keep them. glasses from uh, Amazon. I didn't bought these. This is my second pair. Cause the first pair I lost and I was so mad. This is what I wear when I'm going to the store. I don't want to put nothing on. I don't want to do nothing. I want blackout. I don't want to see you. Okay, so what am I going to see this weekend? Guys, <laughs> I'm going to see Cocaine Bear. Show is. These are my Louis Vuitton. You didn't see me in these if you follow me at all. These are my vintage Louis Vuitton. They have the LV right here. These are my Fenty shades. Keeping these two. This is a nice brown, um, nice brown and Prada. My black and white Prada shades, baby. These not going nowhere. Do you understand me? All right. So let's talk um, necklaces first. Some of the necklaces I've gotten. 
So this one here is a necklace that you wear like this. And it's a big pearl. And what I love about this necklace is it's it's a um like a thick chain, not too thick. And then this little design here with the pearl. And you know I have plenty of pearl earrings, plenty of pearl rings. So I can rock this all the time. Then I have uh my this is my Givenchy necklace. Look at that. This is a vintage Givenchy necklace. This one is my Chanel, Chanel inspired chain. You see it's got all the little Chanel uh, let me make sure I'm wearing this right because sometimes this thing hangs wrong. Let me make sure I'm hanging it right. There it is. And you see it has all of the Chanel little emblems. All they little things. And this right here is so cute. And then I got this. I saw this one in a um consignment shop this chain right here is so thick and a nice chain look at this guys let me step back bam this right here in the summer glistening off my beautiful brown skin and i have this on as my papa red baby everything everything you know a red lip is everything. Yeah, this on. one, when I want to get real bold, it is, It. you know what this reminds me of? You ever seen uh, a Chanel bag and the uh, chain has the leather going through it? And I got this out of a consignment shop too. Look at this. Baby. I have these two pearl necklaces. Never, always have you some pearls. Always have you some pearls, honey. Let me put this on. Then I got this um, Chanel inspired again, double chain with the um, the uh, Chanel flower. Put that on with this, and however you like want to do it because. You can make this smaller if you want to. Like, you can maneuver this and make it look how you want it to look. But I usually will wear these together. But you just have to, like, make this one. Um, like, I can make this more of a choker style and have this part hanging more. But you can make it to where your chains fall as you your necklaces fall as you want them to. And the last necklace is this one I got from a, uh, that was thrifted. Let me show you how it looks. This looks like, like a horn, like a, um, a tusk. And then it has all these beautiful browns and tan, uh, beads and, um, looking like, you know, like ivory. It's very African inspired. And you wear it like this so that the horn is coming down. And then you have your necklaces. I'll try to get as close as I can. This is a very nice. You can wear stuff the way you want to wear it. Think outside the box. So if I was to wear it, I would do something like this. Bam! Baby. Yes. Yes, baby. Sweet. Something different. Especially if I had on a collared shirt. Oh, absolutely. So now I'm going to show you some rings. Oh, I can't wait to wear this ring right here. 
It is a peacock. Can y'all see it? It's a peacock. This is a statement ring. Imagine going on vacation, you sitting there playing with your hair, your shades or whatever. And the sun hit it. Somebody be like, oh my goodness. Is that a, that is so cute. It is a statement piece. You know, I'm obsessed with pearls. So you know that pearl, that pearl earring that I had? I mean, the pearl necklace that I showed you? Put this ring on. I love big rings. I call them statement rings. I know a lot of people like to put stacks and all that. I'm not into that. I want a statement ring. And then I got this from uh, a cons no, I got this from the Goodwill. You remember back in the day on in the movies when you see a pimp, he be had he be pimping and he has girls or whatever and he be fussing at them and he has a little pinky ring on. I found this at the Goodwill. Look at this. I love this horseshoe um it hasn't faded it it i didn't put it in water this might be real guys and it's a horseshoe that's right pimp smack you big braces is the thing right now right get you a nice big bracelet look at that one if i was wearing this i would wear it just like that over the shirt look at that and you can put the pick these things up at Goodwill and thrift stores. And I love this vintage coin one. You have the coins going all the way around. And the coins that is just the regular coins. Blue and um like little rind, little ivory gems. Look at that. Summertime hand this on with them blue shoes I showed y'all from Zara. Some pretty, all, probably all white. Look at this. Summertime. Look at this. To me, this is like African inspired jewelry. Look at this bracelet. I love it. And it's like some type of glass it is gorgeous and look at it against my skin and then these bamboo looking ones oh can you get up there baby i might can't get that off i'm scared see the bamboo ones they look little I'm scared to put this on my arm because if I can't get this off and I'm claustrophobic. That's why I say if somebody like serial killer tell us I'm getting the, get the trunk. I'm not getting, you just like to shoot me because I'm not getting in the trunk. Okay, I'm not getting in the trunk. Go and kill me now. I, I'm more scared of that trunk than I am of that gun because if you fire the gun, people going to hear, you know, I might die or I might survive. But if I get in that trunk, baby, I'm going to have a fit. Just me thinking about being in that trunk right now. Uh, then you take me somewhere and do nasty and creepy stuff and then burn me. You might burn me a lot. It, so I'm thinking about all that. And I'm more scared of that than I am that gun. I'm not getting in the trunk. Not doing it. This, I just felt so, look. I, I saw my aunt. I thought I was a little smaller. Look at this. I love these little, um, little clip, little clip on things. Cause you can put this on your shirt. You can put it right here to get a little something special. You can put it on your, um, on your, uh, if you have like, say I had on a black scarf and I want to put this on to juice it up a little bit. All right, so I have some earrings as well. So for my vacation, I got these earrings. Guys, yes, I will put on some big sunflower. Sunflower and lilies is my favorite flowers. And 
Is this too much? Is this too much? Is this too much? That might be too much. <laughs> Ooh, but these sunflower earrings, baby. Now, I would not wear these on a regular day. Like, I'm going to work. I would wear it on vacation. Definitely if I'm going to somewhere where it looks tropical. Say somebody hand on, um, like, a picnic. I will wear this to a picnic. Look, to me, a first date, if you do a first date with me, because y'all know I'm still waiting for a date. If you do a first date with me, please don't just take me to no restaurant. You already lost me. Have a picnic. Take me to something fun. You found out I like bingo. Take me to bingo, honey, and pay for everything. That's the first date. <laughs> I got these earrings because they look so so different they are uh the people um hand make these and it looked like little waves of colors but they hand did this this is so cute and i like her earrings matter of fact i had another pair of her earrings these gold hoops thin as i don't know what Look, they they so thin you can like bend them. Look at this color. Come on now. Look at this color. I am getting ready for spring and summer and I just want color color color. I have a lot of vintage clip-on earrings, so let me show you these. These are some vintage clip on gold star so you see the stars this is a vintage pair of clip-ons can you imagine the sun hitting that these are gorgeous these are so nice and i have these say you want something that is a little different I have these. This is vintage, um, and this is porcelain, hand painted. Because you know I'm shopping my closet, so you will see a lot of things that I am finding in my closet, and I want to talk about it. I'm gonna show you hat styles. I've things I've noticed. I'm like, I had this in my closet. So you got tags on it that type of thing but you know it's time for our devotion so if you want to hang and stay and hear my devotion please do if not thank you like subscribe hit all the buttons enjoy your day all right so the devotion i have today is steady steps that's the name of it it is Psalm 17, I'm sorry, Psalm 37, 23. Psalm 30, I always put it right here. So let me read it to you. If you've ever, if you've ever taken the hand of a toddler, you'll know that they are relying on you for their balance. If they stumble, you can easily steady them. This simple act of holding a hand means that you and the child have confidence that they won't fall flat on their face. Let me tell you something. Do you ever be driving or walking and you see some parent walking on the sidewalk? They child either 50 steps ahead or 50 steps back? Baby, I be looking like, get, do you not see that? Your child should be next to you. Why? Why do my child got to be next to me? Cars, people. They can jump the curve. Somebody could be drunk. You think, it's the daytime, honey. It, people get DUIs in the daytime. They not looking. Anything can happen. Your child can all of a sudden say, oh, and run out in the street. You cannot catch up to them in time. 
Did you not see the movie The Quiet Place? Could he catch up to his child before that monster? No, he could not. So we hold a hand. We hold a hand and walk them. Okay, it is a certain age where your child can maybe be a few steps and even my... Hold on, what was that? I saying? So at a certain age, then your kids can walk ahead of you and then you still ain't walking too far. I mean, maybe when you like 11, 12 or up like that, I may not, maybe I told my kids now they can walk as far up as they want to. But to me, depending on where we at and what we doing, you can't always let your kids just be a block ahead of you, especially a little kid. The heck? All right. So, in the same way, when we commit our way to the Lord, we are essentially placing our hand in His. Please hold my hand, Lord. Y'all say it with me. Lord, please hold my hand. I need it. He delights, he delights in the fact that we are walking with Him. And even in the times when we stumble, He will stay our path and give us the confidence to keep walking. Yes, sir. We need that. We need that. Mm. Listen, guys, how about you? When you used to, I, do you walk with your man, like holding hands, like y'all walking? I could never do that. I don't know why. I don't know if, did my mom and I hold my hand and, and I didn't have that comfort of hand holding? Where does this thing where you feel like you each want to hold each other's hand while you walking? Walking to the store, walking from the store, walking. I mean, you everywhere you go, you hold hands. Is that something from your childhood? Did someone consistently hold your hand and that is the first time you felt, you just felt like loved and protected? I don't know because I, I held my kid's hand to a certain age crossing the street, but not just walking around. I don't know. I'd be wondering about that. All right, guys. Thank you so much. And I will see you the next time. You're even going to see what I got from the store. Bye, guys.